New construction coming soon to Summerlin. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my Summerlin series, where in this series, I obviously like to talk a lot about Summerlin. Today, we're gonna to be talking about new construction coming to Summerlin this fall. The, the two newest villages, which took shape at August or September of last year, are Red Point and Red Point Square Village. These two villages are located just north of the Far Hills Drive off of the 215. The Red Point Village is the key gateway into Summerlin West with eight brand new neighborhoods from prestigious builders like Lennar, Pulte, Toll Brothers, TriPoint Homes, Woodside, and Taylor Morrison. Already in this village, we have Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers, Carmel Cliffs by Pulte, um, Castellana by Taylor Morrison, which has already been um, started. It's, it's like the newest one right now. And then we have uh, Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes and then Savannah by Taylor Morrison as well. So I'm gonna go over the two new communities coming to Red Point Village. And then I'm gonna go over the new communities coming to Red Point Square Village. So in the Red Point Village, we have Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes. And this community will have four different models to choose from, ranging between 2379 square feet to 3893 square feet with three to six bedrooms, two and a half to five and a half bathrooms, and two to four car garages. Um, now as a side note, I have posted a link in the description to a blog post that I created with all the information for all these new builders coming to Summerlin. They will be coming soon, hopefully fall of 2021. And the anticipated pricing from this community is around the 700s. And the other new community coming soon to the Red Point Village is actually the Overlook, which is also by TriPoint Homes. Now this is just a single story community and they will have three different models to choose from, ranging between 2722 square feet to 3254 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half bathrooms, and two to five car garages, which actually is pretty amazing, a five car garage. I have a lot of clients that would love to have a home with a five car garage. And anticipated pricing for this community is from the 800s. We'll see once, you know, it's actually available. Both of these two communities will be gated with the Summerlin West HOA of $48. I'm not sure what the HOA will be for each of these communities. Next is Red Point Square, and immediately north of the Red Point Village, you have Red Point Square, featuring a blend of single family attached and detached homes from builders including Richmond American, KB Homes, Toll Brothers, Woodside, and Taylor Morrison. Supposedly, the homes in this community will be a little more affordable than the homes in Red Point. The point of Red Point Square was to make it more affordable, more urban. They're gonna be building a lot of shopping next to it. Keep keep on going north. Um, and then also the goal with Summerlin is that they will eventually meet from Far Hills all the way to Lake Mead. Summerlin still has about another 20 years to continue and they've been around for 31 years. So the communities that are already in Red Point Square are Ascent by KB Homes. Cascades by Taylor Morrison, Moral Rock by Richmond American, and Obsidian by Woodside Homes. There will be four new communities in the Red Point Square Village, and the first one is Cordillera by Toll Brothers. And this is a luxury townhome community that features uh, three open concept townhome designs with attached two-car garages. Prices are starting in the upper 400s. So as I mentioned, there's three home designs up to 2154 square feet, entry courtyards and covered patios, rooftop deck option for added outdoor living, luxury primary suites and baths, attached two car garages, amenities, parks. They're gonna have a community pool and then walking trails. And the next new build is gonna be Highline One by Lennar Homes. 
And this is an upcoming condominium community. And the square footage is between 1779 to 1975 with three to four bedrooms and two and a half to three bathrooms. The website really doesn't say when it's coming. I just know that they're forming interest lists. Next is Highline 2 by Lennar Homes. And these will also be condominiums, but they're gonna be a little smaller than Highline 1, ranging between 1448 square feet to 1786 square feet with two to three bedrooms and two and a half to three bathrooms. And of course, since this is Lennar, it has the everything included package. And our last one is Moro Point and it's actually already available. It just opened up recently. It's similar to Moro Rock where they're only gonna offer two styles, which would be the Boston and the Chicago, um, but it's a it's little, little down the road and they're townhomes, of course, a little more affordable with the prices starting in the low 400s and square footage is between 1510 to 1520, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, pretty much it's that's it. Um, if you do want to see what the Chicago and Boston look like, then you can go to Moral Rock and look at the model homes there. So as you can see, Summerlin is still growing. There is new construction every day. And I am your go-to agent for anything related to Summerlin, especially when it comes to new construction. Now remember, as I say in all my videos, when you buy a new construction home, it's very important that you bring your real estate agent on the very first visit. Otherwise, um, I will not, or whoever you bring will not be able to represent you. And I've had a lot of clients ask me, really, why do I need to have an agent? What, what's the point, you know? Well, basically I always say, do you wanna to go to court without being represented by a lawyer? We're free of charge and the point is to actually give you sounding advice. Yeah, you could do it on your own. You can have the sales rep, you know, do everything. However, there's a lot involved. There's a lot of hands involved and it's always good to have an agent on your side to stay on top of things. There's pros and cons to buying in a brand new construction community. The number one pro is actually you're buying at the beginning of the phase. So what that means is every time the builder releases lots, they typically increase the price. So by the time the phase is completed, you will have gained equity in your home. The only downside is, is that you're gonna be under construction for over a year. So it's like the pros and cons. Is it okay to be under construction for over a year or is it okay to save, you know? Now, another thing too, is if you do buy early and yeah, you're saving money, you may not get an option when it comes to the prime lot. You may be just only getting, you know, the first lots that are released, so they not, may not be the best lots available. So there's a lot of pros and cons to buying in the beginning of the construction phase. But if you're thinking about buying new construction in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call at 702 3705112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. This year of loan, I've probably done 23, 24 new home construction sales. I'm very experienced with it with pretty much all the builders here in the Valley. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend and what? Smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.